It may be Halloween and we've got our own little horror story brewing in the garden at the moment. We've been attacked by vine weevils. So over the course of this year, Kirsten has expanded our hooker collection. She's planted a big variety of them. They've added a lot of color to our garden. They actually look really cool. So Kirsten was tidying up the plant pots and putting in some winter flowers. And when she went to one of the pots that actually had hookers in them, she went to pick it up and the whole thing came off in her hand. And when she actually looked down, it looked as if somebody had gone through with a scalpel, just actually took the whole hooker off. And that was an indication that we had vine weevil. So we looked at different ways of being able to control the vine weevils. And one of the best ways to do it is through nematodes. As you may know, we already use nematode in our garden and we've always had good success with it. So we've applied the nematode solution to our hookers and our fuchsias, but the vine weevil does attack other plants. Begonias, begonias, cyclamen, polyanthus, primulas, sedums, strawberries, and oddly enough, succulents. So the grubs, which are basically the babies, are the ones that do the damage to the roots, which is what's happened to us. And then the adult vine weevils are the ones that come out in the summer and actually eat the leaves. So now is a great time to be applying the vine weevil nematode.